Hello everybody. There's been a lot of changes to your AI agent since I last made a video, including a ghost.org integration and using Flux Pro as an image generator. But before we get into that, I came across this Medium article that I hope will pump you up to what we're trying to do. So let's go through it quick. So it's titled AI is running my SEO blog. Here's the growth so far. Half a million impressions, thousands of clicks, and top of Google rankings. It's written by Bernard Builds in Better Marketing. He goes, I launched a new business a couple of months ago. After research, planning, and setting up the website, the next challenge was getting traffic. With my decent knowledge of SEO, the choice was obvious, SEO blog posts for organic traffic. But here's the thing. I didn't want to spend hours writing content in my basement nor did I want to hire cheap writers from third world countries. I decided to go with the most cost effective solution, which is AI. For the past eight months, AI has been running my SEO blog. It never called in sick. It never missed a deadline. It's just sitting there quietly, ready for its next task. And he has an image here from the Google search console. He hired AI, it looks like on January 1st, and traffic to his website has exploded. He's got almost 40,000 clicks, 570,000 impressions, an average CTR of 7%, and an average position of 23.6. I believe this graph because this is something that I experienced with my old website as well, and this is the number that looks familiar to me. You're not getting average positions of one to five, you're getting average positions of 10 to 30. With AI content marketing, we're going for quantity over quality. It'd be perfect if we can get both and we're working towards quality and quantity. But the point is, if you have thousands of articles, even with a high average position, you're still going to be getting impressions and you're still going to be getting clicks. So this makes sense to me. The average CTR seems very high. But anyways, I'm going to continue. As you can see, the site is on its way to 50,000 visitors with 10,000 monthly clicks and steady growth each week. Not only is it growing, it's ranking at the top of search results for multiple keywords. And here's a little screenshot. He's ranking number one for prompt advance, number 1.9 for chat GPT workout plan prompt, 2.1 for chat GPT prompts for students, 2.4 for chat GPT prompt for workout plan, and each of these has given him a lot of clicks. Being number one for prompt advance, he got 180 clicks in this time period. You will get some articles, keywords, and key phrases ranking number one on Google. And that's a good thing about quantity. You're hitting these very unpopular and low competitive keywords, ones that you would never target with a real writer, either because you don't have the data or you don't even know that prompt advance is a keyword that people are searching for. But when you cast a really wide net, you input thousands of keywords, you're going to hit a bunch of these long tail unpopular ones. And some of them might surprise you. So if you want to read the rest of this story, it's a members only story. So I'm going to stop here. But I did look at the comments of this article and a lot of people were asking, I would love to hear the technical part of how you automated this process. 148 claps. This person wants them to explain it as well. This user wants to know the technical stuff. I want to see the tech side. Everybody is asking, how do you do it? Guys, it is so simple. I'm gonna show you in this video. The setup takes less than five minutes and then it's gonna run on autopilot while you sleep until you essentially stop it. All right, let's get into it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I'm building for all of you guys. Cheap AI agents which perform all of your business and personal tasks with automation. Enter your name, email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page. And if you want to automatically write and post content to your website, you need to integrate it with youraiagent.com. So we're looking for a blogger website, ghost.org. Gmail won't work. That's for different AI agent tasks. Same with LinkedIn but you can connect to Medium, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. So the newest integration is ghost.org, so I'm gonna click on this. We need to name our integration within your AI agent. 
I'm going to call it my ghost website. Now we need a base URL. For that, I'm going to go to ghost.org. I'm going to sign into my account. And then we're grabbing this portion of the URL. So it's usually whatever you named it, .ghost.io. So let's copy this and then paste it in here. Now we need a username and password. This is what you use to sign into Ghost. Through their API, you need to create a session cookie. And we do that with your username and password. So my username was my email address. I just used the dummy account and then my password. After clicking connect, if everything went through okay, you're gonna get a notification that says your ghost.io website has been connected. Click okay. It brings you back to the connections page. And if I scroll down, I can see my newest connection right here. It's a ghost connection. I can rename it at any point or remove it altogether. Now we need to set up our API keys. So I'm gonna click on this tab. We connect with multiple large language models and image generators. My favorite is OpenAI and GPT-4 Omni. So for that, I'm gonna click on this hyperlink, click create new secret key, create secret key, copy this key and paste it into the input box like so. To use the OpenAI developer platform, you need to go to settings, billing, enter a valid payment method, and then add credits to the account. It is a pay as you go system, and a ChatGPT subscription is $19 per month. This will not work with their API, but don't worry, their pay as you go is going to be a lot cheaper than that anyways. Next for the image generation, I'm going to scroll down and I wanna use the new Flux Pro. Flux Pro is beta access only. So in order to get access to this image generator, we're gonna go through replicate.com. So if I click on this hyperlink, it will take me to the API tokens page. I can create a new token. I'm gonna to call it your AI agent, click create token, and then copy that new secret key and paste it into the input box like so. The same as OpenAI, you need to go to billing, create a monthly spend limit, go to manage billing, add a valid payment method. This is similar to pay per use, but you don't buy credits first. You hook up a credit card and then it charges you at the end of the month how much you spent. Now I'm going to click on subscription. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you're going to see a button that says subscribe. I have an active subscription. So mine says go to portal. It takes you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AIagent.com is $9 per month. That includes unlimited workflows, unlimited articles generated, unlimited connections. If you're an agency, you can find customers and hook them all up under the basic plan. I'm trying to make your AI agent the cheapest AI agent platform on the internet. All right, with the housekeeping out of the way, we can now start generating articles to our website. So I'm gonna click on the auto blogging AI agent, but if you wanna pause the video, you can take a quick look at all the other agents we have to offer and more are being added each week. So I'm going to click on auto blogging. You need to select your connection in the top right corner by default. My ghost website, the newest connection is selected. And this AI agent creates hundreds of SEO optimized blog posts at once in just a few simple steps. You input your desired keywords or article titles separated by a comma, then click generate posts. Each article takes 60 seconds to write and will produce at your chosen interval. All metadata and images are generated automatically. Some important things to know in the tips and tricks. We handle proper formatting in the background and most of the sites that we connect to is HTML. So you don't need to include this in the prompt. Also, your agent will create an outline based on the chosen article length. If you go really long, it's gonna make a five point outline. If you go shorter, it might just make a two point outline. And then I also place images at strategic points throughout the article. If you have a longer article, you're gonna get more images. So for the text model, I'm gonna keep it at GPT-4 Omni. For the image model, I'm gonna select Flux Pro. The language, let's keep it at English. For the posting time, I want to post once every hour. I want them to publish directly to my ghost website upon creation. For the article length, Let's drag this to long. This is gonna be about 2,500 words. For the agent prompt, I can input any extra details that I want the agent to know. Maybe how to write, maybe the tone and style of my website. I'm just gonna leave this blank. For the image prompt, I want the images by Flux Pro to be digital illustrations. Now we have the option to input keywords or article titles. 
if I had a list of article titles that I have collected, I could input all of them in here. Or if I want to target keywords, like we saw in that Medium article, I could do that as well. So one of his keywords was prompt advance, but this is going to depend on your website. What type of business are you running? What is your industry or niche? What are some of the keywords I could write articles for to get traffic back to my website? So I'm going to go chat GPT prompts, chat GPT workout prompts. I think that was one of them. But anyways, I have three keywords, which means it's going to write three articles automatically for section links. These are external, internal, or affiliate links that I want to put at the end of each article section. If I want to send people to different websites or to purchase different products, I can do that here. And the link URL is the hyperlink with the link text being what type of text will be linked. So I could write your AI And for the link text, I could write the best AI agent platform on the net. And this sentence would be hyperlinked to this website. Hyperlinks are very similar except it targets text within your article. So if I wrote AI agents and then your AI agent.com for the link, all variations of AI agents would hyperlink to your AI agent.com. And finally, we have the categories and tags. Currently ghost does not offer this option, but if you were using a medium.com profile or wordpress.org website, you'd be able to select which category or which tags you want attached to the post. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. I'm gonna click generate posts. It will take me to the workflows page where I can see all the details of my workflow. I can cancel it at any point. I can click on the info button to edit. You'll get this pop-up where you can change any of the settings at any time. Change the agent prompt, the article length, the image prompt, see your keyword list, see if there are any error logs, your workflow ID if you're having problems and you need to talk to support. And I can also click on view past article data where I can see the keyword, the title of that article, and then a link to that article on my ghost website. And here it is. Look at this beautiful image generated by Flux Pro. And here is the article, multiple sections, HTML formatted, and we clicked on the long article length. So this is gonna be about 2,500 words. And look, it actually highlights the keyword that we're targeting throughout the article, which is prompt advance. If you want to try generating AI content to your website on autopilot, I'll drop a link to your AI in the description below. If you want to learn how I built this web app and maybe try to build something for yourself, I've designed an online course called how to build a custom AI app. I will leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.